my organism is a horse. They have various colors, height, and length of hair. For example, you could have a horse that is six feet tall and is white with black spots. There are breeds such as the Appaloosa, Clydesdale, and Arabian horse that all range in size and color. The first horse, well, the first ancestor of the horse is the Eohippus. It has four pads on his front feet and is the same size as a large fox. Three pads on its back feet and it resembles a dog. Next is the Mesohippus. It grew two times the size of the Eohippus. They had crowns on their teeth. They had longer legs and got away faster to escape predators and improve chances for survival. Next is the Meohippus. It was 10 inches taller than the Mesohippus with a different ankle bone for really good running speeds and with a warning can escape any predator. Horses today and horses from back then have changed dramatically, but there is one thing that hasn't changed where they like to live, the grass plains of North America. Next, we have the Mary Chippus that lived in the plains of North America 17 to 70 million years ago. They are about three feet tall and were up to 500 pounds in weight. Second to last is the Pleohippus. It resembles the modern horse and it lived 12 to 2 million years ago. It was six to eight feet tall and weighed about a thousand pounds. It gallops at 30 to 40 miles per hour. Last but not least, here's the horse we all know, the Equus. It is 4.7 to six feet tall. Its eyes are bigger to see more objects and can run around 50 to 60 miles per hour. As we all know, animals mutate all the time. It is a part of life. Some of the reason they evolve is that they need to get away from predators, they have to avoid sickness, and to adapt to their environment.